BlackRock and Larry Fink literally want to tokenize everything. And in this video, we're going to talk about this major crypto news, this major crypto narrative that is playing out. So here on this channel, we talk about the breaking crypto news that you need to know which assets are starting to move, which news is relevant surrounding this entire space from a macro standpoint. So that's the information and the value that I provide to you all every single day. Pay it forward by clicking that subscribe button and hitting the like button in this video because you're going to love what I've got for you here. A couple things we've got to get into uh, in this one. And we want to start with this article that recently came out within the last week. BlackRock creates a fund with Securitize, a huge player in real world asset tokenization. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink said in an interview earlier that the company's filings for spot Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs were just stepping stones toward tokenization, meaning they want to tokenize everything. And rumor has it they want to be using the Ethereum blockchain in order to do so. And we're going to talk about that in this video as well, because on the same day the SEC went after the uh, Ethereum network and wanted to label it as security, well, what did Larry Fink do? They filed for a fund that would start with $100 million on Ethereum in the area of tokenizing real world assets. So don't get it twisted here, guys. Ethereum is not going anywhere. It is massive. And what kind of value it provides with, you know, smart contracts, decentralized applications, being able to tokenize the blockchain, tokenize assets, it's huge. Now, furthermore, it says BlackRock has created a fund called BlackRock USD Institutional Digital Liquidity Fund According to a document filed with the SEC, the fund incorporated uh, in the British Virgin Islands will be launched in partnership with asset tokenization firm Securitize. This filing does not reveal what assets the fund will hold, but Securitize's presence potentially suggests the product has something to do with the tokenization of real world assets or RWA, industry jargon for representing ownership of a wide range of assets through a token on a blockchain. Observers pointed to blockchain data showing $100 million of Circles USD stablecoin on the Ethereum network, this is what I was mentioning, was moved to an address related to a securitized deployer, which could potentially be a seed investment into the fund. Though that's not certain at these times, many people are believing that's exactly what it is. Now, this follows the move by BlackRock, who listed a Bitcoin ETF, who wants to get an Ethereum ETF, and it's obviously going extremely well. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink said in a January interview with CNBC that Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs are, quote, just stepping stones toward tokenization. And I really do believe this is where we're going to be going. That is insane. The tokenization of real world assets is growing sector in the intersection of digital assets and traditional finance that involves placing traditional assets on the blockchain rails in pursuit of faster settlements and increased efficiency. Massive opportunity here as an investor, guys, to understand what's happening. Now, this also came out. Check this out. Uh, DigiFT introduces the first RWA depository receipts tokens to safeguard investors' rights and protection on chain. Huge news coming out that barely nobody's talking about. Okay, they are the first license exchange for on-chain real-world assets. They announced the launch of their first ever U.S. Treasury bill depository receipt tokens that represent direct beneficial ownership in the underlying U.S. Treasury bill. This is huge. DR, or depository receipts, are a well-tested structure in TradFi. They were introduced in the late 1920s when J.P. Morgan created the first American depository receipt to facilitate trading of the shares of British retailer Selfridges on the New York Stock Exchange. The 90s saw further expansion of this as well. By deploying this structure on chain, DigiFT is proud to have pioneered a token issuance model that addresses a critical market challenge with real world asset tokenization. And that is the absence of a robust legal framework enabling tokens to act accurately and importantly legally represent the direct beneficial interest of token holders in the underlying asset while facilitating settlement on chain. Guys, this is happening right in front of us. The tokenization of real-world assets is here. It's no, it's, it's no longer coming. It's happening. And I want to take you out to another tweet that I saw yesterday that was very interesting and enticing. Uh, and this is 
a, quite, uh, a, a tweet rather from Coin Esper with a $16 trillion valuation, it says, the real world asset industry has immeasurable potential. Without a doubt, many millionaires are going to be minted with RWA, altcoins, doing over 100x without this crypto bull run. And he mentioned a bunch of them to watch. These are tokens that are out there now. You guys can screenshot this. And I'm already in the process of researching all 10 of these. But these are the opportunities out there, guys. Ondo, by the way, has been crushing it. If we look at the top gainers right now, Ondo is right up here as one of the top gainers. They are in the tokenization of reward asset place right here. Okay, one of the top ones mentioned here in this tweet. But there are a ton of them. And I'm going to go and follow all of them and start digging in to this research today. Make sure you guys do the same because the tokenization of real world assets is a sector that is not only next, but it's here right now. And we have to be at the forefront. It's all about timing in this space, guys. If you can get here early, that is where the biggest gains are being had. And the tokenization of real world assets is just beginning. We're at the precipice. So don't say I didn't tell you so when this entire industry blows up into a $16 trillion valuation and takes the entire Web3 and crypto space up with it. Massive opportunity. Again, when Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, when he speaks, guys, we listen. And we listen carefully and we act. So those are the assets that were listed in this tweet. There are many, many more. But I wanted to bring you guys up to speed on these two big news pieces and what's happening behind the scenes. A lot of people aren't talking about it, but this is huge. And understanding how big this crypto news is. It's not mainstream yet. It's not being talked about because of you know everything that's going on. Meme coins have been fun, exciting. I've been playing in the meme coin era as well. But eventually the market will turn. And when I say turn, not only up and down, but the market also ebbs and flows when it comes to sectors. And when we look at sectors that I love, obviously, this is one that's situated perfectly in this bull run. You know, the tokenization of real, uh, real world assets. Also, you know, you've got gaming, you've got AI, you've got Bitcoin layer twos. You've got things that are happening on base and Solana, some of these hot chains that a lot of people are flocking to. These are the sort of things that emotional intelligence side of things, getting out ahead of it can do for us as investors. BlackRock is here and they're not going to go away quietly with what they want to do. In fact, I believe Larry Fink will get it done. Let me know what you think about this down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.